Today I'm going to be talking about how you can get your wig for free. Yes, how you can get your wig for free. And this is mainly, it's for anyone. If you can get out there and get it, that's okay with me. But I'm really talking to those who are in deep need, who don't know where to go or who to turn to. Now do understand, you have to be a licensed physician and a um, specialist who specializes in what I do in order for your insurance company to pay for your wig. What they would ask, someone like me, they, not myself, they would ask you. Well, let me, let me go into this first. Uh, we're talking about insurance and how to get your insurance company to pay for your custom-made wig. What is it that you need to know? This is what you need to know. If you already been diagnosed by your doctor that you can never grow hair again, that you have alopecia, scarring tissue, uh, you're fighting cancer, you're in uh, cancer recovery, uh, just hair loss itself, go see your dermatologist. Nine out of ten, the first thing they're going to tell you is because, I'm going to be honest, they're going to always tell you your hair can't grow back. They're going to give you some type of cream, some type of whatever to put on your hair. I'm not downplaying them, but I have thousands of clients, and they all tell me the same story and how their insurance runs sky high. So since you already have insurance and you know they're already taking you for your money, go ahead and tell your doctor once they tell you that you have alopecia, scarring tissue, your hair is never going to grow, uh, cancer recovering, um, male baldness, you let them know like, well, you know what, I'm, I'm upset. Uh, I'm stressed out. This is really stressing me out. Uh, it makes me not want to go out the house. I, I need a custom made wig made and I know a company that does it. So I'm just telling you, you know, certain things that you need to say or whatnot. You can get your custom made wig if you have those issues. If you have a kid out there, especially the babies, I'm really more for the babies. If the baby has lost their hair, you know, Go ahead and tell the doctor to write you a letter uh, so you can send it to your uh, Medicare uh, provider and you let them know that uh, you need this treatment. It's just like if you uh, having fat removed or your chest too big and you need to re, uh, you know, have them back smaller or they're too small and you want to get them big. You know, insurance company pay for that. Uh, liposuction. Okay. So hand in hand, they also pay for your head because all this goes with your body as well. So you can have your doctor go ahead since she already verbally or he already verbally said that you're never gonna grow hair again, your scalp is severe damage, that they can recommend that you need a custom made wig. Once you get that letter uh, from your uh, doctor, you call your insurance company and you let them know that you have severe, severe scalp damage and you need uh, to be approved for a custom-made wig. The first thing they're going to ask you is how much is the custom-made wig. They're going to have somebody like myself send you an invoice. You're going to send the invoice to them. And it usually takes anywhere from two days, I'll give it to a week for them to say yes. Nine out of ten, everybody is approved. So therefore... You know, I want to make these wigs for you, and I want you guys to be able to afford the wig. The wigs run in various prices. Some people like short hair. Of course, short will be much cheaper, but when we start making the wig longer and longer, and got to put cool pockets in there, and I got to do different, whatever you want, different things that you desire, okay, that goes into expense. So why not have... Uh, the insurance company pay for it. Why not? They charging you anyway, so... I hope this message reached somebody, and I hope someone be approved for their wig. And it's not hard to do it, I promise you. Even if you don't go through your doctor, you can still call your insurance company and tell them, look, you are manic depressant, you haven't been out the house in a year, your scalp, you don't have any hair, you know, a company that makes custom-made wig, and you want to be approved for that. You know, you are, you are very high stress risk for, you know, things say what you want to say, but it's not hard to get approved. Uh, people get approved all day. All day, you will be surprised uh, how they walking around with these gorgeous wigs on. Why? Because the insurance company is approving them. 
you know, it's not going to hurt their pocket to approve you. And to move along faster, your doctor recommending that you need a custom-made wig, that's going to get you through the door just like that. So all those who see this video, you have went to the doctor, they gave you some cream, they done already made you sad and upset and told you your hair is never going to grow again, go back to the doctor, tell them you need that in written writing and that you need them to say that you need a custom made wig because you are now in severe department of distress. distress. Okay? Uh, I just wanted to share that and if anyone have any Thing that you need me to talk about just go ahead and email me give me a call if you want to talk about your custom made wig uh, don't hesitate to call me and never ever be ashamed uh, again ladies if your hair can't grow man too and kids if your hair can't grow that's okay just don't have a damaged head a damaged head Lisa you can put a wig on there to keep your confidence up and to stay looking beautiful then a head that's looking like a burnt potato. You know, you want to take care of your scalp. And again, for those who are out there suffering from alopecia, cancer, uh, male baldness, and uh, scalp disorder from the inside, do not allow anyone to put glue on your scalp. Do not allow them to talk you into that. If they talk you into putting crap on top of your scalp, they're not a good candidate for your head. Because at the long run, they're going to be okay, and you're going to continue to suffer. So take care of your scalp. Again, whether you can grow the hair, which is a great thing, but if you can't, this is really, really important for those who can no longer grow hair. Take care of your scalp. Stop gluing your head away, because at the end, you're going to be a Mr. Potato Head. Your scalp is going to get more and more sensitive. Trust me, I have seen it. I know it's not a pretty look. Go to your doctor, get approved by your insurance company, get your free wig, and call Queen's Natural Hair Care to place your order now. 282-3302. I hope this was some information to you guys. God bless you guys. Until next time.